Hello, you're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. James Blake has a new record entitled Friends That Break Your Heart. He released that on October 8th. This is studio album number five for him. Follows 2019's assumed form. Dig that album cover, and I really dig this record as well. What we have on this album is the sound of an artist hitting his stride, really making music with confidence, and it makes this record a pleasure to listen to. James is 33 now. He talks about getting to that age in life and in his career, and I love his reflections. 33, I mean, I'm 37 now. It's all beautiful. You, you still have your youth and vitality in your 30s, but most of the people I know anyway, they tend to just grow out of the insecurities that are grounded in their adolescent experience. Basically, you learn to not give a crap in all of the right ways. Most of the people I know have learned to, to grow to love themselves and to just love life and that experience and to stop giving a damn about what other people think. And so James, he's there. He's in this headspace, and it really makes his music just such a pleasure to listen to. I mean, there's one song, the, the album opener, which is, is still a good song, where I think he's kind of missing the mark a little bit, but the rest of this thing, all 12 of these songs, honestly, 44-minute runtime, this thing is spectacular to listen to. And his style is one of my favorite things as well. Talking about his age, you can tell that his music is very much grounded in the electronic music that was coming out of the UK in the late 90s, early 2000s, probably all the way up to like 2005, 2006. But I love the way that he, he just, it's not that he necessarily brings the energy down, I mean, he does, but there's this sparse minimalism in his music, you know, grounded in this electronic sound. And I also love the way he utilizes silence. It's just something that not very many artists do well, and it's just, it's, it's spectacular to listen to him play with some of these arrangements and to listen to him fill a song without any sound. I really dig it. And I also love that his laid back style of music lends itself to so many different genres, which allows him to to be all over the place, but to still have some continuity in this record. So you get gospel, soul, R&B, you get electronic, you get hip hop, you get alternative music. His records are just marvelous to listen to for that reason. So let's jump into this track listing. Famous Last Words, your, your album opener. And again, you, I don't, there's this intangible thing that I'm still trying to put my thumb on as far as this song sounds like an album opener. It's placed well. And he even talks about that in the Apple Music List thing as far as song placement and how he doesn't really particularly care. But I disagree. This song sounds like an album opener. The, the instrumentation in the first half, it grows just a little boring, a little bland, but then the coda of the song, the back half of it is, is pretty interesting. There's some cool instrumentation that I loved. And, and it builds into this just, just marvelous thing from, from there on out. Life is not the same as your second track. Great R&B feel. Joji is providing backing vocals on that song. So there's really interesting harmonies there. Wonderful musical elements. And your third track, Coming Back, featuring SZA. You know, it's not often that James Blake, you know, busts out a banger but this track is full on banger. And it's cool that, that he's the type of guy, he has it in his arsenal. He, he has that card to play and from time to time he'll do it. And when he does, he absolutely kills it. This song is great. It's got this great piano uh, instrumentation that almost kind of sounds like a harp the way it's toned, uh, but just love the ambient hip hop feel of this track and the energy that's maintained in it as well. Your fourth track, Funeral, is, is beautiful. It's almost acapella. There's very, very minimal instrumentation in the background, just bits and pieces here. But the, uh, the melody and his vocal, he's got this lovely baritone. I think it's really, it's not talked about a lot. His vocal range is quite impressive, and I just, I love the melodies that he's able to create. I'm so blessed you're mine. You're talking about that hip-hop uh, electric feel. Um, it, I mean, this track, it's got Jid and Su uh, Suave on it. And, uh, I, I mean, both those guys are just impressive on this track. They are just spitting fire on this thing. Really a cool, probably my favorite track on the album. And really showing off, again, that variation that, that he's able to play with with his style. I'm So Blessed You're Mine, uh, keeping with that electro hip-hop feel, but uh, a track that's uh, a little more subdued, uh, a little more laid back. Uh, really loving the song uh, Show Me, featuring Monica Martin. Uh, and then uh, Say What You Will, uh, both of them just have this uh, excellent gospel feel. Uh, really just loving the, uh, the coda as well on, uh, on Say What You Will. Lost Angel Nights is your uh, penultimate track, or excuse me, is your 10th track. Uh, your penultimate track is Friends That Break Your Heart, the, the title track, which is, is just James and his guitar, a really just another nice example of, of his ability to just create so much with so little. It's just pretty much just him and his guitar on that track. 
beautiful uh, penultimate track to, to bring this thing to a close with the track, if I'm insecure. And, you know, it's an interesting question. I don't think he is anymore. I think James Blake is making music with the utmost confidence and is just killing it these days. I look forward to seeing him live. I have not had a chance to check him out. So uh, I will have to, uh, I'll have to dig up some of that info, throw on some tour dates if I, if I happen to find those. I'll attach a link to this, to this review. But I'm going to definitely give this a vinyl. Please, uh, looking forward to the, going to the record store and checking this out. I hope you find this review helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all the things, share this, and we'll see you next time on the Beat Sessions.